Hello students, here I am Gargi Pamad, Assistant Professor BBA in St. Andrews Institute of Technology and Management, Urba. So here I am back with an online lecture series on income tax subject. So let's start with lecture. In today's lecture, we are going to cover next topic of uh, second unit that is income from business and profession. Okay, so let's start with lecture. So first of all, the question arises, which income will be taxable under this head? So uh, if a person is running any business or uh, providing any services, then on the income that uh, the person receives from that profession or business will be taxable under this head. So basically, if a person is running any business or providing any services, so all the income of that business or the profession will be taxable under this head. Okay, so let's see which income will be taxable under this head. Charging section, section 28. So, charging section of PGTK is 28. Short name of income from business and profession head is PGTK. Okay, so uh, following income shall be taxable to, uh, shall be chargeable to tax under the head PGTK. Okay, which in, see which income will be taxable. Profit and gain of business carried on by asset at any time during the previous year. If a person receives any income from his business, which is carried by SAP, uh, the profit and gains from that income at any time of his previous year will be taxable under this tax. Any compensation or other payment due to receive due to or received by any person who manages the whole of affairs of the company for termination of his management or modification of term relating to their uh, relating their business. So any person who is man managing the whole business or a whole company and the, at the time of the termination of management, if any compensation provided to that person, then in that case, that compensation income will be taxable under this head. Okay. Next, a any person for termination of agency or modification in terms of agency. So, if there is uh, any modification in terms of agency or any uh, or termination of agency, in that case, if a person receives any compensation income, then that compensation income will be taxable under this tax. Okay. Next, any person for transferring management of any business in government under any law. If any business is taken over by government under any law, then in that case, that was, uh, the person who is running that business will uh, receive some compensation and that compensation will also be taxable under the tax. Okay? Yes. Next, export incentives. If a person receives any uh, export incentives under these schemes, sales of uh, import license, cash assistance uh, against export duty drawback, profit on transfer of CPG, all these, if any person receives any export incentives under these schemes, then that export incentive is also taxable under this head. Value of any benefit or purchases arising during the course of business or profession. If a person is uh, doing any business or providing any services and then receives some purchases or some benefits from the business, then in that case, that benefits or purchases will be taxable under this head. Okay. Next is any interest shall be bonus, commission, or remuneration due to due to or received by a partner or firm from such uh, end of a firm from such form. Okay, if any partner receive any interest, bonus, salary, commission, domination, so all these income will be taxable under this head. Okay, consideration for not carrying out any activity in relation to any business or for not sharing any know-how, patent, copyright, trademark, license, franchise. So if a if a SSC or if a person or if a business gives the right to use their trademark or their license or their franchises, then consideration which uh, the business receives from or a person receives from that uh, franchise given or trademark given, so that copyright uh, that amount will also be taxable under this. So basically, if a person uh, allows to another person to use their copyright or uh, to uh, their trademark or to their franchise or give their franchisee, then in that case, all the amount received from using the trademark, license, and franchisee will be taxable under this. Okay. Any sum received under a scheme and insurance policy, including bonus, will be taxable under this. If a person receives any amount from scheme and insurance policy, then in that case, that amount will be taxable in under this. 
any sum of transfer of capital assets if the whole of the expenditure of such assets has been allowed under deduction 35 rupees if any person receive for transfer of any capital assets and if the whole of expenditure of such allowed under the section uh, under section 35 rupees we will discuss uh, deduction of under uh, section 35 rupees later on so for now if any uh, if any sum on transfer of capital is received and on which a deduction under section 35 ad is allowed then in that case that uh, capital uh, the sum on transfer of capital assets will be taxable under this act okay so all these incomes will be taxable under the income from self tax okay sorry income from business and profession sorry now there is a fixed format of computation of taxable income from this so let's see what is the format first we will write net profit as per p and l amount so first we will uh, see the what is the profit in the uh, profit and loss amount so we will take net profit from p and l account and we write down here okay now we will add all the disallowed expenses which are debited in p and l account what is disallowed uh, expenses disallowed expenses are those expenses which are uh, which are uh, on which sorry on which deduction is not allowed by income tax law according to income tax law no deduction is allowed on that expenses that means the uh, that means these expenses will not, should not be uh, should not be deducted from net profit but in pnl account that expenses already deducted that's why we will again add on these expenses okay so this allowed expenses are basically those expenses which are not deductible from income uh, from point of view income tax okay income tax act uh, income tax act in expenses ko deduction provide nahi karti hai so that means net profit profit mein se in expenses ko less nahi kiya jana chahiye tha kyunki income tax uh, income tax act इनको डिडक्शन के लिए अलाउ नहीं कर रहा ऑल दो हम पी एंड एल अकाउंट में इन एक्सपेंसिस को लेस कर चुके हैं सो टू रेक्टिफाई दिस प्रॉब्लम वी विल ऐड अगेन ऐड ऑन दी एक्सपेंसिस ओके सो ऑल द डिसअलाउड एक्सपेंसिस दैट मींस ऑन व्हिच डिडक्शन इज नॉट अलाउड अंडर इनकम टैक्स एक्ट विल बी एडेड ऑन सो वी विल सी अ लिस्ट ऑफ डिसअलाउड एक्सपेंसिस व्हिच एक्सपेंसिस आर डिसअलाउड बाय इनकम टैक्स एक्ट एंड दे ऑल दीस एक्सपेंसिस यू यू हैव टू ऐड इन you have to add in net profit okay now there is some allowed expenses which is not debited to p and l account uh, uh, so uh, what is the allowed expenses so allowed expenses is basically uh, the expenses on which deduction is allowed un, uh, under income tax act okay so allowed expenses will be deducted from net profit okay so uh, any allowed expenses which is not debited to p and l that means allow uh, ye expense as expense jo income tax allow karta hai income tax act kehta hai ki net profit se aapko less karna hai but aapne pnl mein unko debit nahi kiya that means uh, aapne abhi tak unko net profit mein se deduct nahi kiya so don't worry ab kar dijiye less to aapne ab unko less kar diya allowed expenses not debited to as allowed expenses jo abhi tak pnl mein debit nahi hue to unko aapko less kar diye there is a list of allowed expenses also so in this lecture we will discuss the which type of expenses are disallowed or what uh, which expenses are disallowed by the income tax act or which expenses is allowed by the uh, allowed by the income tax act okay allowed for deduction okay. so this is the fixed format and by adding or less these expenses we will uh, the resultant amount will be taxable income from this okay so this is the fixed format you have to remember that this is the uh, format of calculation of income from business so first we have to write down net profit from pnl account then we will add all the disallowed expenses and we will list all the allowed expenses which is not debited in pnl and disallowed expenses which is debited to pnl so these two things you have to remember okay now we will discuss various uh, disallowed expenses or various expense uh, allowed expenses okay so let's move on here first expenses which is allowed is expenses on building so any building which you are using for business purpose then all the expenses on that building will be uh, allowed as as uh, deduction will be 
deducted from net profit. Okay, so let's see where any building is used for the purpose of business or profession, following expenses are allowed. Where pre premises are occupied by the assistant, then that uh, said uh, premises is occupied by the assistant. Then in that case, as a tenant, if that SSC is occupied, SSC is occupied that property or premises as a tenant. Then in that case, rent plus cost of repair incurred by the rent which is paid by SSC and the cost on repair, uh, if any expenses are created on repair and maintenance, then in that case, rent amount plus cost of repair that is incurred by him will be uh, allowed as deduction. And if an SSC occupies that premises as a owner, then in that case, if uh, SSC spend any repair expenditure or any other expenditure, not uh, that not should not be capital expenditure. So uh, all the expenditure of revenue nature will be allowed as deduction. No capital expenditure will be allowed as deduction. Okay, so you have to remember, remember that. Now, any municipal taxes or uh, land revenue or other expenses are pay, paid on. Uh, Building, then in that case, that uh, then in that case, the expenses of municipal taxes and land revenues will be uh, allowed as deduction. Okay? If a CC pays some insurance premium on premises, then in that case also, uh, these insurance uh, these insurance premium is allowed as deduction. Okay? Now let's move on. Any expenditure for planting machinery or furniture, if any NSSC spend some expenses or do some expenses for planting machinery or furniture, in that case, these expenses will be allowed for deduction. And how much quantum of deduction will be current repair, no capital expenditure. If SSC uh, do some expenses on repair of machinery or plant or furniture, then in that case, that expenses will be allowed as deduction, but the expenditure should be in nature of revenue. Uh, in nature, their the expenses, these expenses should be revenue nature. Okay, not should be capital expenditure. Okay? So these expenditures must be revenue expenditure. Okay? Now, insurance expenses. If an SSC, uh, an SSC do some insurance expenses on planting machinery or furniture, then in that case, that insurance uh, expenses will also be allowed as deduction. Okay, yes. Now let's move on. Uh, next expenses is adaptation. If, if, an, uh, sorry, if any depreciation is charged on building or uh, planted furniture or any other assets, then that depreciation will also be allowed as deduction. So, wherein as an asset is owned fully or partly by the SEC and used for purpose of his business or profession, the depreciation shall be allowed. It is mandatory to claim depreciation even if SEC does not want to claim. So, this is mandatory to claim the depreciation even if SEC don't want to claim. Okay? So, if any depreciation is charged on building on furniture and any asset, then that depreciation will be allowed as deduction under this. Okay. So, what will be the quantum of depreciation? So, here yes, uh, uh, income tax act specifically mentioned that uh, uh, how much depreciation will be allowed as deduction. So, in the case of undertaking in case any generation, let's hmm. so let's see on building, on building, if that building is used mainly for residential purpose except hotels and boarding houses, then uh, the deduction which will be allowed uh, as depreciation will be 5%. So 5% depreciation uh, will be allowed. 5% depreciation allowed kiya jayega in the case when building is used for mainly residential purpose except hotels and boarding house. Agar aap kisi business building ko apne residential purpose ke liye use karte ho, so 5% ka depreciation ka ko deduction milegi. If other building except from uh, use for residential purpose, if there is any other building, then 10% deduction uh, depreciation will be allowed as deduction. Temporary addition such as wooden structures. Temporary addition such as wooden structures, in that case, 
hundred percent depreciation will be allowed as deduction. Okay. So suppose uh, there is a building which is used for residential purpose, and uh, depreciation on this, according to ten percent, is ten thousand. But deduction allowed for five percent. That means only five thousand will be allowed as deduction. Not the total ten thousand will be allowed because ten thousand is calculated by ten percent rate. But we have we can only allow depreciation as deduction only five percent. So that means five thousand will be allowed as deduction. Okay. So these are the uh, depreciation rate which will be allowed as deduction on building. So on furniture and fitting, furniture and fitting, ten percent depreciation uh, will be allowed as deduction. Okay. In the case of machinery and plant, if machinery and plant other than those mentioned below, जो नीचे है जो भी आपको plant and machinery दी गई है इसके अलावा अगर कोई plant and machinery है तो you will allow for deduction fifteen percent depreciation. So fifteen percent depreciation will be allowed for deduction. Any motor car other than those used in business of running them on hire, so fifteen percent. अगर आपका business motor car को hire पे देने का rent पे देने का है, तो उनके अलावा जो भी motor car है, उस case में आपको fifteen percent का deduction नहीं मिलेगा. इस case के अलावा अगर कोई case है, तो आपको this depreciation will be allowed fifteen percent. So fifteen percent depreciation is allowed as deduction. Aeroplanes or aero engines, forty percent depreciation will be allowed. Motor buses. Lorries, taxis used in the business of running or uh, running them on hire, then thirty percent. If uh, if a person uses motor car for the business, then fifteen percent of tax will be allowed. If the business is running them on hire uh, to motor car or any other lorries or taxis, then that is thirty percent tax will be allowed. Models used in the models used to, uh, in the rubber and plastic goods industries, then thirty percent tax will be allowed as deduction. Pollution control equipment, hundred percent of the depreciation will be allowed. In the case of machinery plants used in semiconductor industry, then thirty percent depreciation will be allowed. Life-saving medical equipment or life-saving medical equipment, thirty percent depreciation will be allowed. Containers made of glass or plastic used for repairs in in these in that case also fifty percent depreciation will be allowed as well. So all these uh, rates of the uh, depreciation deduction you have to remember on intangible one uh, thing uh, you should strongly remember this intangible asset it may be patent or copyright or trademark or goodwill in charity so the on these assets 25% depreciation will be allowed as deduction okay so these all are the depreciation now now there is a question Yes. When uh, a group of block of assets, let's talk about block of assets. What is block of assets? A group of assets falling within a class of assets comprising tangible assets, building, machinery, planting, machinery, or intangible assets, the impact of which the importance of depreciation is specified. If there is a assets on which there is two or three assets on which the percentage of depreciation is same, then we can make uh, we can put them on a Particular block, we can put all the those assets on which depreciation is same percentage. We can put those assets in a block, and that block will be known as asset. So, when the assets the same rate of depreciation looks like, on some assets to take, we have a block to take. That block we call it block of asset. So, depreciation will basically charge on WD uh, on WD. जब हमको डब्ल्यू डी बी से अगर चार्ज करना डब्ल्यू डी बी के रेट से हमको ये कैपेसिशन चार्ज करना देन इन दैट केस हाउ विल बी कैलकुलेट द डब्ल्यू डी बी तो डब्ल्यू डी बी ऑफ अ ब्लॉक ऑफ असेट फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ चार्जिंग डेपेशन कर दी जब भी हम डेपेशन चार्ज करेंगे तो हमको डब्ल्यू डी बी पे चार्ज करना पड़ेगा और डब्ल्यू डी बी कैसे कैलकुलेट करेंगे डब्ल्यू डी बी एट द बिगनिंग ऑफ द प्रीवियस ईयर तो प्रीवियस ईयर के बिगनिंग में आपके पास डब्ल्यू डी बी कहते फर्स्ट यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट दैट Then you have to add actual cost assets acquired during the year. पूरे इस year में आपने कितनी assets acquired की हैं, कितनी assets you uh, you purchase, that amount will be added. And and if you sell and uh, you sell any assets or sold or discarded any assets, then money received from that sale or uh, that discarded assets 
then that money will be lost. Okay? So uh, we lost that money, and the remaining amount will be WD. So basically, we will calculate WD beginning from the previous year. We add purchase of assets or the less the uh, sale of assets. Okay, then resultant amount will be uh, WD. So let's understand with an example. Let's see. Okay, here is an example. If a machine we purchase on first April two thousand. First of all, first thing you have to note is that uh, there is a machine. So first we have to see that uh, what is the percentage of depreciation on machine. So let's see. Uh, yeah, let's see. What is the percentage of depreciation? Here see on uh, plant and machine B, plant and machine B not mentioned below. So uh, there is no clearly information that uh, plant and machine B falls under these conditions. That that's why we will assume the machine is falls under this condition on first condition. That means depreciation will be allowed at the rate fifteen percent. So it is we have a mark here that uh, fifteen percent deduction, uh, fifteen percent depreciation is allowed on that machine. Okay. So uh, let's move on. So if a machine be purchased on first April two thousand sixteen at rupees ten lakh, so depreciation will be allowed fifteen percent. We have already discussed that fifteen percent depreciation will be allowed on this machine. So on first April two thousand sixteen at rupees ten lakh, so the cost of purchase is ten lakh. The cost of machine lay is ten lakh. Depreciation is charged on the rate specified in income tax act. Okay, so. Depreciation के प्रेस पे चार्ज किया जाएगा, that is rate specified in income tax act, that is fifteen percent. We have already seen. Okay. Another machine purchased on first May two thousand seventeen at rupees five lakh, and machine of rupees two lakh fifty thousand sold on thirty first May two thousand seventeen. Calculate WDB for tax purpose for assessment day of two thousand eighteen nine. Okay. So आपको जो WDB calculate करनी है, वो है for assessment day two thousand eighteen. So for assessment year, previous year is 1718. So in assessment year 2018-19, previous years 1718's income will be taxable. 1718 uh, income will be taxable in assessment year 2018. This is the general rule of income tax uh, that in each previous in each assessment year, the income of previous years will be taxable. This is the general rule which we have already discussed discussed in our first lecture. So for assessment year 2018-19, we have to check the status of previous year 2017-18. Okay. So, we calculate the WDB for financial year uh, for previous year 2017-18. So 2017-18 means for April 2017 to 31st March 2018. So we have to notice, we have to see the, all the provincial between for April 2017 to 31st March 2018. Okay. So let's see. First. Yeah. According to this format, B. Uh, let me show you. According to this format, of calculate the WDB. WDB at the beginning of the previous year. So our previous year is 2017-18. So beginning of the previous year is 4th April 2017. So on 4th April 2017, WDB is on 4th April 2017. WDB is 10 lakh rupees. That means the cost of the machine or WDB will be. So now. You have purchased this uh, machinery on fourth April two thousand sixteen. So at the end of the year, that means on thirty first March, you have to charge depreciation. That is fifteen percent. So less depreciation on thirty first March, that is fifteen percent, one lakh fifty thousand. So this is the WDB on thirty first March. Now we have to calculate thirty first March two thousand seventeen. The WDB is eight lakh fifty thousand. Now. We have to calculate the WDB for previous year two thousand seventeen. The seventeen eighteen means from first seventeen uh, first March two thousand seventeen to thirty first April two thousand seventeen to thirty first March two thousand eighteen. Okay. So on thirty first March or on first April two thousand seventeen, the WDB is eight lakh fifty thousand. So WDB on first day of Previous year or beginning of the previous year is eight lakh fifty thousand. That we have already calculated that uh, on thirty first March, or we can say on fourth April two thousand seventeen, the uh, WDB on that date is eight lakh fifty thousand. Okay. Now, and if you purchase some another machinery during the year, so during the year, during the year you purchase five lakh machinery. 
so rupees 5 lakh will be added and you sell 2 lakh 50000 uh, machinery you sell on 31st may 2017 that means in the year 2017 okay so you have to make the sales on 31st may 2017 that is 2 lakh 50000 So WDB for previous year 2017-18 is 1 lakh. Okay, so this is the WDB for 2017-18. Now this, uh, that depreciation which will be allowed, will, uh, which allowed is 15%. So on WDB 2017-18, uh, for the WDB for the year 2017-18 is 1 lakh. Now we have to calculate depreciation 15% on 1 lakh, and that depreciation amount will be deducted or will be allowed as deduction. तो ऐसे हम कैलकुलेट करेंगे ओके नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन दिस इज अबाउट दिस इज अबाउट कैपिटल नाउ देयर इज अ नोट ओके व्हाट इज द नोट इन केस वेयर द एसेट एसेट यूज्ड फॉर लेस देन 180 डेज देन डेप्रिसिएशन विल बी चार्ज एट हाफ ऑफ द स्पेसिफाइड डे ओके इफ यू यूज दैट द मशीन विद देयर एसेट्स If you use any assets for less than 180 days during the previous year or during the year, then the depreciation which will be allowed will be half of the specified. Suppose uh, in the uh, last example, we purchase a machine, we plant in machine on 4th April 2016. So that means on uh, we purchase it on sorry 2016 on uh, 4th April 2016 we purchase that machine. That means we have already used that machine for one year. That is. More than one eighty days. Okay, if there is a condition that the the machine does not use for one eighty days, or maybe machine used for one fifty days only for the whole period, for the whole year, then in that case the depreciation will be uh, on plant machine is seven point five percent, half of the fifty five days. If any asset which you does not use for one uh, more than one eighty days or one eighty days. You use that machinery less than 180 days in uh, during the previous year. Then, in that case, the uh, rate of depreciation will be half. That means, if the depreciation rate is 15 percent, then uh, in 180 days condition, this will be 7.5. Okay. So, let's understand with the example. So, basically, first read out this note. Note if in case where the asset is used for less than 180 days during the year. Then depreciation will be charged as a half of the fifty five days. So let's understand this example. Let me show you. Yes. There is an example. There is an example. A machine we purchase on thirty first December two thousand seventeen at the rate twenty less. Calculate the allowed depreciation for assessment year two thousand eighteen. So first, basically, for uh, in assessment year two thousand eighteen, I think previous year two thousand seventeen eighteen income will be taxable. This is the general rule of business, okay, which we have already discussed in lecture. So in assessment year two thousand eighteen nineteen, previous years two thousand seventeen eighteen income will be taxable. So two thousand seventeen eighteen means we have to see the transaction between first April two thousand seventeen to thirty first March two thousand. Now let's see. This machine is used for uh, which purchased on 31st March 2017. So it is very obvious. If you are 31st December को machine को purchase कर रहे हैं, तो obvious उसको 31st December से ही use देने start करेंगे. First January से आप लेना उसको start करेंगे. Okay. So uh, let's move on. Yes. Now you purchase these uh, this asset on 31st December 2017. So आपको ये check करना है कि आपने ये machine को कितने दिन के लिए use करे. If you use this uh, Already used it in assets for more than 180 days, then the rate of depreciation will be 15 percent, which we have already seen. Okay. If you use this machine for less than 180 days during this year, then in that case, only half of the depreciation will be allowed. That means 7.5 percent depreciation will be allowed. So let's count the uh, days. So you purchase this machine machine on 31st December. That means you will use this machine from first January very obvious. So you use uh, 31 days in January, 28 days February, and 31 days in March. Okay. So for three months you use the uh, this machine and days will be 31 in January, 28 in February, and uh, 31 in March. So there will be three, 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 uh, six, seven, eight, 
79 days. We use this machinery for 79 days in the year 2017. Okay, so that means you use with this machinery for less than 180 days. So depreciation will be allowed at the rate 7.5 percent, half of the rate uh, specified in income tax that is uh, 15 percent, and half of that rate is 7.5 percent. So 20 lakhs are 7.5 percent you will calculate, and the amount resultant amount will be. 1,50,000. Okay, so 1,50,000 is your depreciation which will be allowed for because this machinery is used for less than 180 days in the uh, previous year. That's why the rate of depreciation will be half. Okay, so this is the note which created. So you know, see that if any SS is used for less than 180 days, then uh, the depreciation rate will be half of the simplified. Okay, now there is one more provision of additional depreciation. Yes, see what is the additional depreciation? In the case of new machinery and plant, additional depreciation will be provided. See, there is uh, another uh, depreciation will allow the respect that is additional depreciation. So, additional depreciation is also allowed as deduction for income tax purpose. So, in, uh, in which cases additional depreciation is allowed? Let's see. In the case of new machinery plant, if you purchase, if NSSC purchase any new machinery or plant, then in that case, additional depreciation deduction will be provided to that person. And there is many some more conditions that SSC engaged in manufacturing or production, acquired and established new plant or machinery after 31st March 35, and rate of depreciation will be 20 percent. So, if any SSC engaged in manufacturing and production business and acquired any plant and machinery after 31st March 2005, then in that case, 20% of additional depreciation will be allowed as deduction. Okay. Now there is a, a exception. On the following assets, additional depreciation is not allowed, which moves in India earlier. That means uh, that machine is not used. I have clearly mentioned here that machinery should be used. If it is already used in India earlier, then additional depreciation will not be allowed. Any shift and claims, the uh, additional depreciation will not be allowed. Any personal or official asset depreciation will not be allowed. Only depreciation, additional depreciation is allowed only for manufacturing organization or production industry. Okay. So for personal or official assets will not be provided any additional depreciation. Motor vehicle and uh, motor vehicle or road transport vehicle also not provide additional depreciation. Okay. So these are the exception of additional additional depreciation. Now, depreciation on power generation plant. So, uh, when your business is of power generation, then depreciation will be allowed to power generation plant also. What will be the uh, depreciation amount that will be allowed for deduction? SLM method used for the uh, calculation of depreciation. Yes, see, uh, we have discussed that uh, WDV have to calculate for the uh, for the calculation of depreciation. But where an SSA is uh, engaged in power generation plant, then in that case, the depreciation will be charged on SLM method, not WDV method. Okay. In case of such asset sold in any year, then balance will be charged as terminal depreciation. If such asset is charged, uh, is sold during and uh, during any year, then balance will be charged as depreciation. In that case, when a, uh, such asset is sold and in, in any year, then depreciation will be charged as terminal depreciation. What will be the terminal depreciation? We will calculate the WDV of that asset with less sales price and the less scrap price. Scrap price. The resultant amount will be terminal depreciation and will be allowed as deduction. Okay. So this is all about your depreciation expenses, which is allowed as a deduction in this under this. Okay. So these are the these are the amount of depreciation which uh, is provided to NSAC under this head. Okay. So that's it for today. Uh, we will see the some next provision, some uh, provision further on uh, under this head. So that's it for today. Thank you guys.